All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So we just got the uh, in-game news for part three of the superhero movie collab on Global. So let's pop in here and take a look at exactly what's happening together. So it says here, movie collaboration campaign part three is on get 70 dragon stones, 70 dragon stones and recruit SSR, red caped android, gamma one, upon the first login after Tuesday, uh, December 27th at 21, which would be 9 p.m., right? Yeah, 9 p.m. So uh, yeah, we're all getting 70 stones. That is pretty crazy, pretty crazy. I mean, you can kind of think of it as like a belated Christmas present slash early New Year's present, I guess, but either way, that is a massive, massive login. I love that. And on top of that, we get 14 copies of the Tech Android, or sorry, uh, Tech Gamma 1. Um, I thought he was available from a story event, so I'm not sure why we're getting 14 copies for login, unless he's only available through login and then Gamma 2 is available in the story event. Not 100% sure about that, but either way, we're getting 14 copies of the Gamma 1 and also 70 Dragon Stones once again. Um, also, Ultimate Gohan and Piccolo Power Awakened, who can both be Token Awakened into an LR, will show up in the Dual Dokkan Festival. Don't miss out on the two superheroes. So of course, uh, Ultimate Gohan does have a Beast Gohan component to him, right? He's in the active skill but we can't actually use the Beast Gohan. And then for the Piccolo, he can transform into Orange Piccolo, but only for a few turns as part of a giant form transformation. Needless to say, it's a bit disappointing, but uh, it's not the most surprising because I think a lot of people kind of had a feeling that they were going to save the standalone versions of uh, Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo for later just to uh, basically squeeze as much money out of the superhero movie as possible, right? So, uh, yeah, the two LRs are dropping with the Dual Dokkan Fest, and then we have uh, the Awakening Medals required to Dokkan Awaken, Come Back and Rescue Gohan Teen can be obtained in the new story event. So that is the free-to-play in Gohan. Don't miss out on other events, including a new Limited Attempts event, two new Dokkan events, and Ultimate Red Zone Red Ribbon Army Edition. Plus, background music to make the campaign even livelier will also be available. A track from uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero will be played during the specified period on the title screen and the home screen. Name of the track is Superhero, composed by Naoki Sato. And uh, there's the duration for the new background music. And enjoy the events from the movie collaboration campaign. So, first things first, we have some special missions. And then we have... The Dual Dokkan Fest, which uh, is starting on yeah the 27th at 9 p.m. There we go, 9 p.m. to January 11th. There's the regular Dual Dokkan Festival. Sorry, uh, there's the discounts. Oh, hold on. Okay, so that period is just for the discounts. So it's going to last for two weeks. Two weeks of super discounts, which is three plus one. And then there's also the regular Dual Dokkan Festival banner. And then there's also the ticket summon. Now, the ticket summon obviously means that we have tickets, but I'm still not sure if those tickets are available through summons or only available through these superhero packs, which obviously you have to pay for, right? So um, we'll see very soon, you know, once the banners drop, once uh, the, the ticket pack drops and all that stuff, obviously we can buy tickets, but um, if we can also get them from doing summons, then that's even better, right? But I'm a little bit skeptical, uh, skeptical right now, mainly because for essentially every other Dual Dogon Fest that's dropped on Global and JP at the same time, there haven't been any tickets for summons because, uh, I don't know, it would upset JP players because they're not getting any tickets, right? So I feel like there's a chance, there's a decent chance that the tickets are only available for purchase, not from summons, but fingers crossed. They decide to change that this year and uh, give us tickets for both, right? So we'll see. We'll see. 
And then from there, we have a Dragon Stone Sale, 24 stones at the price of 12, three times, not bad. Uh, we have 60 stones at the price of 32 for three purchases. That's actually really good. That's really, really good. And then we have 91 stones. Um, oh, and get an extra 39 stones, 130 stones in total, nine times only. So it sounds like it's a regular priced 91 stone pack, but you get extra stones on top of that. So basically the price of a 91 stone pack without discounts, but it's 130 stones, which is decent. It's decent. So uh, we're definitely gonna be hitting top grossing guys. I know like people are upset about, uh, you know, how the Beast Gohan and how the Orange Piccolo turned out, but nonetheless, with solid sales like this and just the hypeness of the celebration, um, there there will be top grossing stones, trust me. So top grossing update will come tomorrow once there's been some time and uh, the rankings have updated, so look forward to that. And we also have a superheroes category summon, obviously a big skip. We have the uh, Elder Kai banner, the Dokkan events for Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo, and then the new story event where, where we can get the Dokkan Awakening medals for the uh, teen Gohan. And uh, also a new skill orb event for superheroes category units, which uh, is the limited uh, attempts event. We also have the Red Ribbon Army, Ultimate Red Zone. Um, as you can see, the gammas are there, so that means that even though we're only getting two stages right now, there will be more stages in the future, right? And uh, then we have new missions added to the Cell Max event. We have a new stage for Infinite Dragon Ball History versus, I think, Heroes of Justice, it's called. And then the reopening of the, um, you know, Gohan and Piccolo uh, movie event. We have a new explosive chain battle coming as well versus Gamma 2. And that's dropping on, well, that's a long time from now, January 16th. So in about three weeks, <laughs> in about three weeks, we'll be getting the Gamma 2 Explosive Chain Battle. That's a uh, very early notice, I guess. But nonetheless, um, solid, solid looking celebration, guys. Uh, you know, a decent amount of new content. Not too much, honestly. Just the, you know, the ones I'm excited for. You know, the uh, Red Zone for sure is going to be exciting. And then we have, um, you know, new story events, Infinite Dragon Ball History, uh, Chain Battle is is what it is, is chain battle, but I always enjoy the skill orbs, so there's that. Um, but yeah, guys, good luck on your summons when these banners come out. I hope all of you guys pull the Gohan and the Piccolo, even though, you know, less hype than maybe initially expected. Um, still, they're very, very good. Very, very good. So uh, good luck on your summons. And uh, I don't think I'll be able to stream when the banners drop, just because I expect to be out, but as soon as I get home, as soon as I get home, I'll have at least a summoning video ready for you guys. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all I gotta say. That is the third part of the movie collaboration celebration. 70 stones for login is crazy, so enjoy those stones. And, uh, yeah, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.